This is my first video in a series of videos where I'll answer some frequently asked questions. Today's question is, what stripper do I use when refinishing furniture? For years, my answer to that question was citrus strip. This worked really well for me for a long time. It had a consistency that made it easy to apply. I compare it almost to thin pudding. And once it was on, I usually only had to wait about 10 or 20 minutes before removing it. And this was enough for most of the old lacquer finishes that I work with. The consistency also made it easy to remove. I just scraped it off with a spatula or a drywall knife. It also had a citrus smell that wasn't bad. But then they changed the formula and it just doesn't work so well for me anymore. This one here is the new one. Besides the obvious color difference, the consistency seems to have changed. It's more gel-like. And it also seems stickier once it's been sitting on the surface for a while. And this makes it harder to remove since it sticks to the surface more and it also wants to stick to the scraper. I find that once I've scraped it off, I have to spend more time wiping the residue off than I used to with the old formula. It seems to have a new smell too. It's not as citrusy as it used to be. Uh, I'm not really sure what I describe it as, but it's not quite as pleasant as it was. And most importantly, it doesn't seem to remove the finish as well as the old one. I find myself having to reapply it more. I've also had an issue with it leaving dark stains sometimes. And you can see that on this piece here. You can see the pattern where I brushed the stripper on and it's left a mark. I was able to remove most of that eventually by reapplying the stripper and taking it off again, but I never saw that happen with the old formula. So I went looking for other options and I found this one called Smart Strip. One advantage of this one is that it has very little smell and what smell there is isn't bad, so I was okay using it inside. But this one also seems to get sticky. It's mostly a problem when applying it it's almost like a marshmallow fluff, and it's difficult to get an even layer on it with a brush. So it just wants to stick to the brush. The container does say something about spraying it on as an option, and that would probably get a lot more of an even coat, but um, I haven't tried that yet. It also seems to require more time to work than the citrus strip did. I usually leave this on a few hours when I use it, but it does a pretty good job of removing the finish once you take it off. So this is the one I'd use if I had to do the stripping inside and if I wasn't in a hurry. Another one I've tried is Clean Strip Premium. This one is relatively easy to apply and to remove. The can says that it works in 15 minutes, and that does seem to be accurate. Although I did find that I had to apply it a couple of times to get all the finish off. This may have been because the temperature was only around 45 degrees outside when I was using it. So it may work better in warmer temperatures. The main drawback of this one is that it has a strong smell so I wouldn't use it indoors. So until I find something better, this is probably the stripper that I'll use the most as long as it's warm enough to use it outdoors. Of course, you can always forego the chemical strippers entirely and just sand or scrape the finish off. 
I've been doing this a lot more lately since I've had trouble finding good strippers. And I prefer scraping to sanding. I feel like there's less of a risk to do damage with a scraper than a sander. I usually use either a utility knife blade or a card scraper. The blade is a little bit easier on narrow surfaces, i found. The card scraper also works great. You'll just need to eventually learn how to sharpen it, but that's not too hard. Scraping will be more difficult though on pieces that have carvings or some kind of um, basically anything but a flat surface. Uh, it gets a little trickier there and I feel like those are areas where strippers work better. But for large flat surfaces, scrapers can work great. And then there's sanding. And I try to avoid sanding as much as I can. Most of my videos do contain some amount of sanding, but I try to do as little as possible. And this is because most of the pieces that I work on have a veneer on it, a thin veneer. And it's really easy to go through that veneer or do some kind of damage to it with sandpaper, especially with um, a power sander. So if you are going to try and sand a finish off, just be very careful. Um, start with the highest grit or the finest grit paper that you can, at least to start with. And be especially careful around the edges. That's where it's easiest to sand through veneer. So there you go. That's where I currently stand on stripping and strippers. Keep in mind that what I said about the chemical strippers has just been my experience, and they may work better for you. Give them a try. It's possible that I wasn't using them entirely correctly. I haven't really had a lot of time to try out the three new ones, uh, the new Citrus Strip, the Clean Strip, and the Smart Strip. So it's possible that I just haven't gotten the process down yet, but give it a try and see how it works for you. Thanks for watching.